What's up in style? I'm Jackie Ina, and this is my perfume playlist. Okay, girls, so y'all know I love all things lavish, <clears throat> hence my Instagram account, Lavishly Jackie. Now, to know me is to know your girl loves perfume. I mean, there's a perfume for every occasion, every day, every moment. And my collection's pretty extensive. I'm gonna give you guys a play-by-play -play of the top 12 perfumes that I love for every season. Here's track one, new year, fresh start, boom. It's the start of January. I chose Tom Ford Sole Nige. To me, if a fragrance had an undertone, I feel like Sole Nige would be cool. It just has this icy, cool tone to it. And when I say tone, I mean like what you literally smell. It is also a musk, it's very musky. And if you aren't really familiar with musk, it's kind of like what your natural scent would smell like, like your natural body chemistry, because I know that's kind of confusing for some people. It has top notes of bergamot. There's also carrot seed. That's where some of the musk aroma comes from. Okay, up next, track two. All right, Byredo Sundays. I chose this one because it's February. It's Valentine's Day. We're gonna be caked up going on dates. And this smells like straight up cotton candy, but don't, hold on, hold on, pause. I know you think juvenile when you think of cotton candy, you know, kind of like how we all wore pink sugar in high school and middle school. No, this is the adult grown up version. Okay, cotton candy in your 30s and maybe your 40s. I really like this fragrance. It's fresh. It has mandarin orange top notes. It also has some lemon. And in the base notes, there's musk and cotton candy. So it literally does smell like a fresher, sugar, sticky, sweet scent that I thought would be really cute for date nights and romance. Spin that black track three. As we move into spring and the colder months, I chose Montal Roses Musk because I feel like it's not only appropriate for spring months, but all year round. So funny story, I actually first smelled this at a, <clears throat> a thun -thun -thun club. And one of the thun -thun -thun girls was like, I was like, you know, handing the dollar bills. I was like, girl, what is you wearing? So we wasn't even worried about the dancing. I was just like, girl, what? what is this perfume? Literally like while she's dancing, she pulled up the picture on Google. I was like, period, screenshotted it. I ordered it the next day. It smells amazing. It literally smells like rose, but like your skin, florals in general have elevated so much. It's such a classy rose. I feel like back in the day, we all used to think of our grandma who would smell rose perfumes, but not this at all. Give us track four. Okay, so the seasons are changing and so am I. So I slipped into something a little bit more lighter for the spring. Okay, y'all ready for track four? This is Maison Margiela Bubble Bath. Okay, I really like this fragrance. It's not normally something that I would gravitate towards, but you know, as a perfume lover, I like to switch things up every so often. It's accurately described as a bubble bath because I feel like it just smells very fresh, very soapy. That's literally one of the notes is soap. It also has coconut notes. It has a little bit of a lactonic flavor. And that just basically means like kind of milky, I think. And it just smells really fresh, very spring appropriate. But I also think you can get away with wearing this all year round. This to me is an it girl perfume. Somebody who does not want something too bold and too standout-ish, but still wants to smell like, oh, like, what are you wearing? Okay, track five. Kaoli Deja Vu White Flower. This is one of my all time favorite spring florals. And I really like white florals. I don't know what it is, but it just smells amazing. But some of the other notes have pear. I believe there's some top notes of nectarine. It just has this really juicy floral. Something just is so stunning and inviting about it. I think what I like the most about this perfume is it has the perfect balance of like woody notes and floral. Like it's not too green, you know, it's like a perfect balance with a little bit of powdery notes as well. So where are we going with Kaoli Deja Vu White Flower? Mm, I'm gonna say Sunday brunch. I'm gonna say Sunday brunch, bring the Telfar, bring the peachy nude lip, bring the travel size, just in case you wanna freshen up in the bathroom. Okay, track six, I'm ready when you are. Introducing Maison Francis Kirkjian Gentle Fluidity Gold. I feel like Gentle Fluidity Gold is the most slept on from all of their fragrances. Everybody named Mama talks about Baccarat Rouge, which is cute, but not everybody wants to smell like Baccarat Roof Girl. Like we want to switch it up. So some of my favorite perfumes, I know I talked about a lot of powdery florals and stuff, but my favorite perfumes are all in the vanilla gourmand category. This to me is like the vanilla for the unexpected vanilla. It just smells so good, so powdery. It has some amber notes in there. 
I don't know, I just feel like it's like a more toned down, less sticky, sweet vanilla, and it's definitely elevated. And of course, like MFK, you know, MFK gives estate planning money, you know? I think this is a good office fragrance. It's not too polarizing or bold. I don't think it's too heavy or strong. It has a beautiful sillage, which basically means you'll keep smelling it throughout the day, but it's not overpowering. It does last really well. Track seven. Black people love them some Mangerlan, honey. One of my commenters told me about this and I was like, actually, all the black girls that I know love them some Mangerlan. This is described as an amber woody perfume, but I love it that it's so spicy. Like it's pretty much a floral, but it's not like a typical flora. It has top notes of bergamot, lavender, but there's some Tahitian vanilla in there, I believe is one of the base notes, which really to me makes this more of like a bolder floral. It's just so like, oh, like, a floral, but somebody who's got a little spice, a little attitude. Where are we going? Okay, so Mangerlan, hmm. We're in New York City and we're wearing her to a day party on a Sunday. An African day party on a Sunday. Okay, now I'm ready for track eight. Okay, it's August. It's my birth month. Shout out to all the Leos. We don't claim the Virgos. No, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. Don't, don't hit me in the comments. So, it's my birth month and I told y'all I love vanilla scents, right? But sometimes you don't want to commit to something too vanilla, too predictable. So, introducing one of my favorites. Girl, don't ask me how to say this name. I don't know how to say this name. I'm just gonna shorten it to Noble 1942. I got this as a birthday gift last year when I turned 34. To me, it has like a fruity, spicy kind of vibe. It just smells so unexpected and unpredictable. And there's a lot of like juicy, crunchy fruit notes right at the top. It has red apple, it has bergamot, and of course the vanilla. The vanilla is just kind of like the entire structure. I've never smelled anything like this when I first got this perfume. This is definitely very unique and very appropriate for summer too. You can wear it to a yacht party. Not me though, because I, I be getting seasick, so I see y'all at the dock, okay? Don't drink all the alcohol, we'll see, I'll see you over there. This perfume is like a charcuterie board, but in a perfume. If you're looking for a perfume that when you walk into a room, nobody smells like you, it would be Noble 1942. Okay, y'all ready for track nine? Time to fall into some wardrobe change and some perfume changes. This is another Maison Margiela pick from me. It's Autumn Vibes. This is actually a recent favorite of mine. To me, pumpkin spice latte, s'more season. This is the perfect fall autumn perfume, period. And I love the fact that it's quite gender neutral. It has a lot of woody notes. It has a bit of spice. There's cardamom, there's pink pepper. There's also maple, nutmeg, and cedar. So not only do you get spice, but you get that sort of syrupy sweet twist to it that makes it to me so enjoyable. I love, uh, this is like Jackie Ina in a perfume. Like I showed y'all the birthday pick, but this one is like part two. So in the fall, where are me and Bay going? <laughs> we ain't going nowhere, girl. I'll text you tomorrow. Sorry. Do not disturb. Phone is off. It's just the perfect, like, by the fireplace fragrance. I love it. It's very cozy, very romantic, and great on men, too. I put this on my fiance all the time. All right, now let's switch to track 10. Okay, so it's October, and every niche fragrance lover knows about By Killian. So, of course, I had to pick the one that, in my opinion, belongs in history books. Love Don't Be Shy. I'm sorry, if there was something that was inducted into the Smithsonian, it would be Love Don't Be Shy. And yes, Rihanna actually smells like this and I would know because Fenty had a whole event and we partied with her, girl was like exclusive, it was cute. And I was like, girl, what do you smell like? I've never smelled anything like that. And then I smelled that same exact fragrance a whole year later and I knew it was this. Like that's how crazy scent ties to our memories. What I love about this is it has this sort of caramel. It says it doesn't have any marshmallow notes, but to me, it smells like a real marshmallow perfume. It's romantic, it's sweet, it's quite heavy. That's why I picked it for October. But to me, it just represents that really feminine floral and sticky sweet candy scent that we love, but it's a little bit more elevated and grown for the holidays. So we're going on a date with Love Don't Be Shy because the name, I feel like the name kind of says it all. It's romantic, it's dark. This is a very addictive perfume. So if you want somebody to, you know, not keep their hands to themselves, I would wear Love Don't Be Shy and I would put it in all the right pulse points. You know exactly what I mean by that. I'm just saying. Now it's time for track 11. Okay, it's November. Time to darken things up. 
with a little bit of Byredo Oud Immortal. So Oud, if you aren't familiar with Oud, is I like to describe it as like the truffle oil of perfume. Very expensive, very bougie. It's kind of like if you know, you know. And when you smell Oud, you know it's Oud. No matter what type of Oud, like it just has a really distinct note. To me, it just smells, for lack of a better word, like really heavy, really classy, like something that you would smell abroad. And what I love about Oud Immortel is the fact that it just has so many smoky, dark, woodsy. There's also a little bit of citrusy notes. It just smells amazing. And it's also great to layer. So if it's just a little bit too smoky for you, I would throw a vanilla on top or even like something musky to kind of really help blend it and help some of the notes stand out. But I love this perfume. And I also, everything else that I've featured has been kind of feminine. I kind of wanted to switch it up. So Oud Immortel. Be prepared to spend a little money though. I'm just telling you that right now, but it's worth it and it'll last you a long time. Isn't it crazy how when the weather gets colder, our scents get warmer? Well, Shagaf Oud Swiss Arabian is a nod to all Oud lovers. To me, this is just a more, cause Oud, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie, Oud is not for everybody. Oud is not for everybody. It has a very polarizing scent. And when you smell it, you know it. But to me, I love this perfume because it is a more friendlier, flirtier Oud. It has um, some saffron notes in there, some vanillas. It's really, really sweet. Swiss Arabian always reminds me of my time when I lived in Kuwait, so. It has a little sentimental part of me, you know? But I just wanted to say this one as the best for last because it literally is one of my like top 10 all-time favorite perfume. So ironically, out of all the perfumes we discussed today, this one is actually on the lower price side. This one will run you like 35, maybe 40 Zuelas if you buy it overseas. And I love that like you would never expect the opulence of what it smells like to be that inexpensive, but it actually is. So saving coins, get you a little elevated scent that probably no one else will smell. Thank you so much in style for sharing my perfume playlist. I had a lot of fun doing this. If you wanna hear more about perfume, I am on TikTok at Jackie Ina. And my Instagram page, Lavishly Jackie is a little bit more bougie. So you get beauty fashion on one page and then you get the lifestyle and perfume on the other. If you guys have any favorites or new things that you discovered about some of the perfumes I featured today, let me know in the comments, holla at us.